Hi, y'all. Welcome back to the uh, composting class. I hope a lot of y'all are return students from our earlier class on home gardening. Um, and uh, we have made some changes this, on this course to make it a little easier to understand and maybe a little less uh, put you to sleep kind of course. So uh, enjoy. What we're going to do now is move into module two. And the first part of module two, uh, the module two is talking about the benefits of compost. Because we told you what composting is, but why would you want compost? You know, compost, it's a good product. Everyone keeps saying compost is good, compost is good, compost is good. We want to explain some of the reasons why compost is good. So some of the benefits of composting. One of the benefits is nutrient recycling. Now, if you were in our home gardening course, you may remember some of these. Uh, these are the essential plant nutrients. And as you can see, out of all the plant nutrients listed here, uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, they come from air and water. <clears throat> but all the rest of the plant nutrients that a plant requires come from the soil. And a big part of the soil is the organic matter, and the organic matter is the compost. So essentially, a lot of the nutrients that your plant need come from the compost or the breakdown of organic matter in the soil. So this is essentially, as Chris showed you in the beginning, the nutrient recycling. You start with the complex molecules in the green material and in the brown material, and microbes break it down into these forms, as you can see, the uptake forms that the plant's looking for. And so uh, when we look at a plant, say we got a picture of a tree here. <clears throat> By dry weight, a tree is 96% carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. You see it's 45% carbon, 45% hydrogen, 6% uh, oxygen. Those are the things that are coming from the air. Everything else comes from the soil. And you look at what's left, that's only 4% of the dry weight of a plant. So you think, well, if it's only 4%, how important is it? But all of the biochemical processes that go on in a plant require these nutrients for all that to happen. So carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen may be the main food sources and the main food production of a plant, but it requires all these other things in order to do that. So photosynthesis uh, without all these other nutrients won't happen. And so that's why these are very important. And since they are all in the plant, when you compost the plant and put it back into the soil, you're adding all of these nutrients back into the soil. And what you're doing is recycling them. So if you have a compost pile, what goes into the compost pile are the leaves, limbs, newspaper, crawfish shells, eggshells, wood chips, food waste, all that kind of stuff goes into the pile. Also, microorganisms go into the pile. They're going into the pile when you're adding these raw materials because they are on these raw materials that you're putting in. And oxygen goes into the pile because you're keeping it aerated. And during the composting process, the things that come out of the pile are water is giving off of, as water vapor. Heat definitely is given off as the compost pile heats up during the biological process. And carbon dioxide is given off. And the end product is the humus the finished compost, and that contains all the essential plant nutrients and beneficial soil microorganisms. So not only are you adding the nutrients to the soil when you add compost to it, you're adding beneficial organisms to the soil. So that is another big benefit of compost. And one thing that you want to think about when you think about a composting and compost that you're using in your soil is Compost is definitely recycling plant nutrients. But as you remember, the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen are all coming from, um, or carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are all coming from the air. And so those are some biggies. And compost itself, because it is a mixture of complex molecules that are broken down over time to release the nutrients and make them available for the plants, it doesn't function as a fertilizer. Its primary function is not as a fertilizer. Its primary function is as a very valuable soil amendment that will enrich the soil and make the soil 
a better place for healthy plants to grow. Uh, because if you just use compost, in most instances, your plants aren't going to perform to their optimal conditions. And so supplemental fertilization uh, was probably going to be required. And that can be in the form of organic fertilizers that are put together which do not inhibit or have a detrimental effect on your soil microbiota. So one of the main purposes and good functions of composting is it recycles plant nutrients.